A local police officer being called a hero today after rescuing a young girl from a pond. Now she had gone missing from her family's home and was gone for about an hour before officers found her. The moments leading up to that rescue were all caught on body cam. I'm afraid it gets deeper out there. Blue Ash Police Sergeant Todd Stewart and Officer Tim Bittner arrive on scene to find the six-year-old in the middle of the pond off Deerfield Road. Can you check with one of the fire departments? See if they have a, a boat we can go out in. If she keeps getting any deeper, we're going to have to go in. The girl has autism and is nonverbal, making things even more challenging. And a lot of times when you're dealing with autistic kids, um, they're drawn to water, and we know that. When our officers made contact with her and were trying to coax her to come to shore, she did the opposite. She went further out into the water, and Sergeant Stewart immediately looked at to Tim and said, we're going to have to go get her. Like, we got to do this now. With no time to spare, the officers remove their equipment, including their body cams, as they prepare to go in. She's gone from about here up to here. She was about waist deep when they first had contact with her, as you can see on the video. And then she got up to about her mouth and she was actually blowing bubbles when uh, Officer Bittner got to her. The girl is brought to shore and reunited with her family, shaken up but unharmed. The ideal outcome to a tense situation thanks to some quick thinking officers. I mean, that's that's just our mindset. I mean, we do what we have to do, and this was an urgent situation, and we weren't going to sit around and, and talk about it and, have, you know, try to formulate a game plan. Somebody was going in that water, and Tim volunteered, and, you know, we had a good outcome. We are told that the little girl's family refused transport to the hospital, and she is going to be okay. Chief Scott Knoll told me that those body cams are actually waterproof, but he says they're very expensive, so the officers didn't want to risk damaging them, which is why we don't get that full rescue on camera.